welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. I make videos all about thrifted treasures, secondhand clothes and style and all that good stuff. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, please stick around. This video is all about festive dress up. I'm not calling it a party video because I'm not planning on going to any parties this year. I'm just gonna chill at home. But as you'll see, a lot of what I've thrifted is very luxurious. So I'm gonna be lounging around, eating all the chocolates and feeling like a queen. <laughs> I can't wait to show you, I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's get into it. This first piece screams Christmas to me, although it's not um, a traditional Christmas color. Look at that, oh my God, yeah, it really picks up well in the light, look at that, it's absolutely lush. It's a t-shirt originally from Oasis and it's just this most fabulous, fabulous, luxurious, I'm gonna say that a lot in this video, really, really gorgeous, sumptuous purple. It reminds me of dairy milk, although I don't eat dairy milk, it's, it's quite a Christmassy food. I remember getting it a lot when I was a child, but oh, look at this. So it's really, really versatile because you can dress it up or down because it, it is just kind of a, it's a loose T shape. It's got a little bit more structure to it because it's a slightly thicker material and it's just this gorgeous material. So you can dress it up or down and it works really well. Purple, like I say, it's not traditional red or green, but it's still got that kind of festive connotation. I know a lot of people decorate their trees with purple baubles, it's really lush. <laughs> so I'm really pleased with this. I got it for three pounds. I don't know how much it would have been originally. Potentially 20, I think, but that is just a guess. Ah, oh, look, I, just, I love watching it on camera. <laughs> So I mentioned that I want to feel like a queen. I'm gonna dress like one too with this very regal bracelet that I got for £1.55. I've actually still got the tag on because I haven't taken it off yet. This is the bracelet. Take a look at this. It's really lush. So you've got big old fake pearls and then they're spaced out with these really lovely little crystal diamante, I'm not sure, but um, really sparkly, really blingy and £1.55. So I'm really pleased. I don't have a huge amount of jewellery. I tend not to wear too much of it. And this I think will be a really nice piece because it is kind of classy, but it's also quite blingy. It's that really, it walks a really fine line for me, but I do like it. So I'm really pleased with that. This next piece is another velvet piece. So can you see, look at this. It's a really, really gorgeous. It's not, it is kind of burgundy, but I almost think of it as like a red wine color, really deep red. It's a midi skirt, so it hits me just below my knees. It's very flared. It was originally from Eastex, and I think it's vintage. It was actually 8 99 so this is quite an expensive piece for me. I've already worn it once and it's been complimented. It's just, it's a really flattering and quite forgiving shape. It's flowy, it's thick, it's warm, and look, just, I can't stop feeling it. <laughs> I really love it, it's so gorgeous. Let me see if I can catch the light. Yeah, there you go, just look how it changes when it goes in the light. It's really lovely. So like I said, 8 99 I think because it's a vintage piece, it's just perfect for Christmas, it's so gorgeous. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know I'm a big fan of deep red and burgundy, and this just, oh, it, it's the spot for me, it's lush. up is a really quirky piece that I acquired by accident so it is this apple necklace let me bring it closer I actually bought this for my daughter it cost £1.50 and she was adamant she wanted it and then when we got home she tried it on she didn't like it and it's really bold it's not my usual style and I love it for that I've got some plain um, unpatterned tops and this would probably look really good because it would offset the plainness and give a kind of like bow Look at me, I've got a weird apple necklace on. So <laughs> that's the hope anyway. I'm looking forward to wearing this. I think it's pretty cool. Something a bit different for me. This is the last piece of jewellery in the haul and it was a whopping one pound and five pence. Look at this, it's so delicate, I love it. You see, hopefully you can see it. It's so delicate, but at the same time, so chunky. Strange juxtaposition, I feel. Um, look at that, I really, really like this. The only, the only reservation I have is that there are some really, really fine threads 
and I'm just a little bit concerned that I might accidentally catch them and then the whole thing just kind of explodes and all the beads pop away. So I've got to be super careful. For a pound, you know, you could say, well, you don't have to be that careful, but if I buy something, I want to take care of it. I bought it because I really love it. I don't just want to accidentally knock it. So yeah, very, very nice. I see this styled with a lot of black. I don't have, I don't have a lot of black. Maybe I'll refine that. I see that styled with some black or other plain colours because this will give a lovely detail to the outfit. The next piece is not a traditionally a festive colour either. It's this, oh, look at this colour, I love it. It's this lovely silky slinky skirt. Look at that. It's got a great swish to it and it drapes really nicely. So it's fitted waistband and then it flares out slightly. It's kind of an A-line and it just feels so luxurious. It's not too tight around the waistband, it fits really nicely and it just, it hangs beautifully, it's got a great drape, it's really, really comfortable and really, really stylish. I love it. It was originally from H&M, I got it for £3.99 and I, I saw it and I just couldn't wait to snap it up, it's so lovely. Again, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I love dark red, burgundy kind of colour, but I also love oranges and browns. I'm definitely an autumn colour person. So this is lush, it'll go with everything in my wardrobe because I've got loads of neutrals and it adds a lovely pop of colour. I chose it for the material and the colour, but the reason it's included in this haul is just because I don't think you need to dress in red or green to be festive. I think you can put your own spin on it and a lot of it comes down to the fabrics. This is just so nice. Oh, I get so excited. <laughs> This is the final piece and it's a bit of a showstopper. Let me, uh, let me just hold it up. It is a lovely evening dress. Velvet again, of course. There we go. Um, <laughs> I don't think you can see much actually because it's so long, it's probably difficult to show on camera. So I'll show you in the try on portion in a second. But again, really lovely velvet. Black because I don't have much black. I don't plan on going out to an event where I'd need an evening gown, but it was eight pounds and I can wear it around the house. I probably will wear it over the Christmas period because I was thinking, obviously this is sleeveless um, and I've got a black polo neck, very, very thin, that would go beautifully underneath it and I could kind of rock that 90s vibe. It reminds me a bit of Phoebe from Friends because she has a, she's worn a few dresses like this. So anyway, very 90s, very classic, very velvet and it was originally from Monsoon, their Twilight range. Um, I, again, I haven't Googled. I really must get better at Googling how much things were worth. Although to be fair, it doesn't really bother me. I only think about it because you might be interested. But Monsoon obviously is a, is a really good brand. And if it's a specific range, the Twilight range sounds expensive. <laughs> if it is, I don't know. I really don't know. But it just, it fits really nicely and it's very beautiful. I'm tempted to change the length of the hem, to raise the hem so it's a bit shorter on me and it becomes more like a cocktail dress. But... My sewing machine's playing up and I just don't want to tempt fate, so I'll see. But anyway, let me know what you think. So that is the end of my festive dress up haul. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.